polls closed about four hours ago and Virginians have made their voices heard. Terry McAuliffe is the Democratic candidate for governor. Our Jake Burns joins us live with what McAuliffe plans to focus on and how his opponents are responding tonight. Jake. Well, Bill and Candace, a big part of the narrative for McAuliffe's primary opponents was that he represented an old form of leadership for Virginia Democrats. But Tuesday, more than 60 percent of primary voters disagreed. The 72nd governor of Virginia, overwhelmingly the pick by Democrats to represent the party in the race to become the 74th governor. We are a different state than we were eight years ago, and we are not going back. McAuliffe says his last term shows his plans for this time around would help all Virginians bounce back from the pandemic. That is why I'm running for governor. To, to create great paying jobs, to reduce health care costs, and to build the best, most equitable education system in the country. A different tenor in Richmond, as State Senator Jennifer McClellan's attempt to become the first black woman to serve as governor came up short, promising to rally around the Democratic ticket. We are going to work together to make sure that this November and this January and moving forward, we will rebuild Virginia stronger, more united and more equitable. We've got to do it together. Joining McAuliffe on the statewide ticket, Hala Ayala as the lieutenant governor nominee and attorney general Mark Herring now seeking a third term. With McAuliffe as the Democrats pick, Virginia Republicans setting their tone ahead of November, attacking him as a career politician with a record of broken promises. GOP nominee Glenn Youngkin writing on Twitter that Virginia is less safe and provides fewer economic opportunities since McAuliffe first took office. Glenn Youngkin is running for governor because of Donald Trump. McAuliffe already attempting to tie Youngkin to the former president and is a threat to the agenda his party has advanced. Ralph and I and the legislature, we knocked those walls down and we will not let Glenn Youngkin put walls back up here in Virginia. It's clear that both parties are already honing their message ahead of November's elections. Democrats saying that they need to protect the progress that they've made over the course of the past couple years. Republicans arguing that progress has come at a cost for the Commonwealth.